tonight. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. It's a site that has seen more than its fair share of great playoff memories the last few decades and more could be in store as we've got playoff football again at sold out Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports and May. It is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. And we talked about it last week, the pressure of not just playing in the playoffs and now in the championship game as they try to close out a perfect 19-0 season. Of all the games they've played, though, this year, this is far and away the toughest one. If they find a way to win it, guess what the next one will be? The toughest one they've played. That's what happens when you have a perfect record on the line. Meanwhile, Jones throw there, complete to Myers. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Here's Jones on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a spot, I don't know if it's worth it if you're trying to play guys who aren't quite right. Get them healthy, get ready for the playoffs, make your move then. Now Jones to throw on third down. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And now a decision here on the opening drive. Fourth and very short, this part of the field. What do you think they do, CD? I think you go for it. I think there's a lot of game left to be played. I like the advantage that they're trying to create here early. I say be aggressive and try and get it done. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he is going to pick up the Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Back to throw. Jones. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. 
And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Jones now on third down. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. To throw on third down. Jones. And that is incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Folks, kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. From the 25 on second down, Mahomes. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. Well, he tried to bounce it outside, but that's obviously not his game. He's too much of a straight line runner. Yeah, him in the outer third of the field, not a recipe for success. That time a loss. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Throwing now is Mahomes. 
And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. And that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Connection made on the out route to Valdez Scantling. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on well, me. I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? What was the return on? It was a backhand. I yeah, like a that. really good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little, little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. The Pats at the line ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. Jones to throw on third down. And caught by Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 23 yards on the play. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Hey, on the give, this is Harris. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Jones throw incomplete for Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Back to throw, Jones, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Looking to throw, Jones. And he fires one, but incomplete. The partner, anytime someone tells me their fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane, and they batted it away on a third down attempt. The folks' kick is good, and they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first-half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They go play action. Now Mahomes. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Christian Barmore showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. The last run went so well for them. Maybe they should have just handed it off right here, too. Instead, the quarterback ends up keeping it. The defense is right on it. And what's where the yardage gained on the last snap. Throwing his Mahomes on third. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 36. Now here's Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. A run for the fullback, Burton. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. They fake the give, now Mahomes. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half-field responsibility. Their job is to stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play, an interception. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. They run with Harris. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Off the play fake, Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 22. I love that play, because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control break down and make a tackle in the open field. Difficult in normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. Now Harris. 49 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. 
That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Harris going to get it again on second down. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Back to throw. Jones. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 20-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Now a play fake here on first down. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Pats go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Nick Folk for the point after. And it's up and good to make the score 13 to 3. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, they're thinking. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now a carry for Edwards Allaire. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw, it's Mahomes. Caught on the slant. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. This defense has held on so far. Now from the three, this is third and goal. Now he's got it. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mike Burton 
from three yards out. And the Chiefs have got it back to within a score. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And the lead down to three at 13-10. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now a first down carry for Harris. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Throwing on second down. Jones. And that's complete downfield to Parker. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A big pickup of 38. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They run with Harris. 70 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before. That he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Ramondre Stevenson punching it in from a yard away as his guys are able to extend their lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. So the Patriot offense stays out there and they'll line up and go for two. They'll try and run it up the middle. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Only had a couple of yards to gain there on the two-point conversion, and they were able to do it. And how many teams shy away from running the football in the two-point conversion? They treat two yards as if it were 20. If you're a good team running the ball, go to your strength. Go ahead and push it into the end zone. Yeah, they did. It worked. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
And this will be down just inside the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Jones. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come up now on second and a yard. the ground it's Harris and he'll get it down to the play to the 37 98 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 back to throw Jones can't get away and he's taken down now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to take another shot here. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new season. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is up to 18 now. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw again on second down. Mahomes got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Looking to throw is Mahomes. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. 
And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home the Lamar Hunt Trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. Yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? Let's get back to it. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. Fields it right around the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Another carry for Burton. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones throwing the out route. He's got Parker. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Harris running straight ahead. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this AFC title game. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 39. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They hand this off to Harris. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 
That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Back to throw. Jones. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that'll be caught by... Puts it on the carpet, it's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball. And we just saw there that that's difficult to do. But just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on. But the biggest one... And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, throw left side complete. That's Burton. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Mahomes going to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Burton. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. Handoff to the fullback, Burton. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Slant route, that's complete to Travis Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Play action, it's Mahomes. Going top shelf for Smith Schuster. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. On second and ten. Mahomes over the middle. That's hauled in by Tony. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. And even though that's 15 yards they're going to gain, this Kansas City offensive line has got to get together and say, got to do a better job protecting our franchise quarterback. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. The quick slant caught. Touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. 
As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And does that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Jones. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Frank Clark, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. After the sack on first down. Jones and oh he's unable to hold on to that defensively a potential game changer but it falls incomplete now on third and long they'll look to throw and that's going to be incomplete the coverage too good there the contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down the Patriots send out their punter and the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. That's a 49-yard punt. Eight, though, on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll start the drive with Harris. And some room to maneuver. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Throwing Jones. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Looking to throw, Jones. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. This is Harris. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Jacoby Myers, 39 yards. As his guys have opened up a 
very comfortable lead. Well, they've been part of the cream of the crop in the AFC all season. It's becoming more and more evident that they're going to get a shot to play for that Super Bowl title. The momentum has been building, and you mentioned how well they've played throughout the season. It's all come together for them, and they're really laser-focused on being that team to represent in the Super Bowl. They have been dominant in this one. A trick shot on the extra point, but it is good off the left upright. And the lead is up to 18 now. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Chiefs offense set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. AFC Championship tilt, third quarter of play. This is second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And again, it's Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Devon Godshaw getting in there and dropping it. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. they got to find some answers quickly. Here's the Chiefs punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Jones on the return. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and it will be first to 10 as they take over. The Pats at the line ready to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Second and eight. Back to throw. Jones. Open man is Myers. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. the give this is Harris and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39 seven yards there at a first down off play action Jones He'll rifle this one deep right side. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. 
And the contact may have come too early. Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for the head flag. It comes out there for pass interference. What do you think, partner? A little sarcasm in that cheering from this crowd. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? In the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Well, this will come out to the 25 as McDuffie elects not to return it. Touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their dream of a Super Bowl burst so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Second and six, just inside the 30. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Mahomes now to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. You got the big lead defensively. You're willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And yeah, that one off the mark, a little late with a throw. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now Mahomes got to have this one. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes finds his man. It's Kelsey on the crossing route here. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll run. Here's Burton, the fullback. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mike Burton, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs get a bit closer. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will bull his way in there for the two points. It's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. Here's a great example right there. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Off 
offense returns to the field. There's the running back to Bruiser from Alabama, Damian Harris. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners <laughs> kind of know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. Let's see if he can do it. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission. Uh, and you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Off the play fake. Jones. He's got a man complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing... There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. So that drive there, CD, a good response, and that might be the one that gets them to the finish line, a comfortable lead. Yeah, and that's all about not letting the team back into a game because they just gave up a touchdown. It was back to a two-score game, and anything can happen in that situation. But instead, they came through with a really terrific drive right there that ended in six. So you like to slam the door on teams. In this case, they're trying to lock it as well. Full connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 23. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Well, this will come out to the 25 as McDuffie elects not to return it. Touchback. Kansas City and Juju Smith-Schuster running out for another series. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. On first down, Mahomes. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So a great play there by the defense. If these guys are going to advance, and it looks like they will, this defense a big reason why. And they love carrying the mantle for this team, don't they? You see the way that they move around out there? They want to lead this team deeper into the playoffs and hopefully onto the Super Bowl. And that return for a touchdown certainly helps that cause. Extra point up and good by Folk. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Well, this will come out to the 25 as McDuffie elects not to return it. Touchback. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because 
They're going to have to sit in that field. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. And they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Again, it's Stevenson. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Looking to throw, Jones. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by LeJarrius Sneed. Well, Charles, I know you appreciate seeing this great defense, especially with the heightened intensity of the postseason. These two defenses, they have risen to the occasion to force back-to-back -back interceptions. You know me well, Brandon. I always stand with my fellow defenders. And I love watching them make plays, and you nailed it. It's playoff time. This is when it matters most. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. Caught. Kelsey. Left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Mahomes throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From the 41, Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. Continuing to steadily move the ball down the field. Not big play after big play, but these moderate gains getting them first downs. And you know what they add up to, right? If you continue that pace and you continue to move it down. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Stevenson now on first and ten. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looks like he'll throw here. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Here's Stevenson. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Full connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead.
Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the young men. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is... Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Patriots have done it again. They're AFC champs once more as we say good night. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.